Hey friend, Ryan May here, an audio engineer, and more specifically, an audiobook engineer in the Apple or Mac world. So when recording audiobooks, narrators need to learn not just the acting and the performance side of audiobooks, but they also need to learn all of the technical side of things as well. In audio recording, there are tons of different audio software platforms to choose from. But did you ever think of using Apple's free audio software rather than spending hundreds of dollars or needing a third party program to perform all of your audio tasks like recording, editing, and mastering? Well, in this video series, I'm going to walk you through five days of audiobook narration in GarageBand from how to set up your tracks. Yes, I said tracks. But Ryan, narration is a single voice process. Yes, but there's a little spin to punching in and punching out within GarageBand. But I'm also going to show you how to do the basics of editing while you're performing a punch and roll style of narration. And all the way to exporting and sending off your finished raw files to a publisher. Now, of course, there is more to audiobooks than just recording and sending them off to an author or a publisher. You need to process them into a finalized version for the world to listen to. Now, if you're new to mastering audiobooks as well, I want to help you out with that and get you started with EQing your voice to maximize the clarity and presence in your narration. I want to give you my free narration EQ guide. Just head to thehomeaudioproject.com slash EQ. It's all for free. Just head to the link here on the screen and I'll also have it linked down below as well. After you're done narrating for a publisher, you're typically sending your finished book with raw audio, meaning you have no processing on the finalized files. No EQ, no compression, nothing. It's as easy as making sure that you have all of the authors or the publisher's delivery credentials and you're ready to send them. This is the last step in the process and it's an easy one. I'm Ryan May and this is Five Days in GarageBand Narration. Okay. Now that we have our chapters completely exported into our chapters folder, and for this example, we'll just say that this book only has two chapters, we are ready to deliver these chapters to the author or the publisher or to whoever they're going to. So in this example, I'm going to show you two different ways. One, using WeTransfer, if that's an allowed method by the publisher or the author and another using email. Now, you may use other FTP clients, is what they're called, to transfer deliverables, but the publisher specifically or the author may already have a FTP server protocol set up, and they'll give you instructions in doing so. Just to give you an example of that, I use an FTP client called FileZilla, you basically will get detailed instructions from the publisher or the author with any type of connection point that they give you. So they'll give you a host name, you'll put in a username and password, and then they may give you a port number. Click and drag your files into here and upload them. But because we're going to say that we're not using an FTP client, let's utilize email first. So we'll go to our email provider, and then we'll just compose an email. So I'm emailing to com, and I'm letting them know in the subject that this is the Runaway From Reality Day 1 chapters. And we just simply send them a message letting them know that here are the first two chapters for Runaway From Reality and more to come. So in the email, you'll simply go down to your attachments button or attached files, click on that and a dialog box will pop up saying, where am I finding these files? And because we had a proper organized file management system, 
we're going to navigate to our desktop over on the sidebar, or you can choose to use the drop down menu here. But if it doesn't pop up, you can always use the sidebar. So I'll use the sidebar and we'll navigate to our run away from reality folder. And we'll simply click into the chapters and we will click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the second one and then hit upload. And depending on how big these files are, because these ones are short files, longer files may be bigger and may take longer to upload. And as you can see here, any file larger than 25 megabytes will probably not be able to utilize just general email. You'll have to use some type of cloud service, whether it's Google Drive or Dropbox or some type of FTP client. But in our case, our chapters are fairly small, so they were able to upload here. And then now that they're attached, you simply just hit send and they're on their way. So now we're at wetransfer.com. WeTransfer is a file delivery service that allows you to upload a certain amount of gigabytes within your files to send to whoever you may need to send them to. So you simply just go to wetransfer.com and in here it'll give you a, a quick little welcome page. Just hit I agree to the terms and then you just follow the steps here. So as you can see here, it allows you to add up to two gigabytes worth of files, which has a clear difference from email because that only allows you to upload 25 megabytes and gigabytes are a lot larger, but you can only do two gigabytes at a time unless you pay for a pricing tier that allows for a larger transfer. So what you'll do here is you'll simply just type in the name of the person that you are sending them to, then you'll put in your email, and you'll wanna just title it because it treats it just like a subject line in an email. And then you can simply click up here and go to upload files and then navigate to your chapters files folder if it isn't already. And our chapter folder is already selected. So we can click on one, hold down shift, click on the other, let go of shift and hit upload. And now they're automatically uploaded to our WeTransfer site. And we just simply need to hit transfer. And then there will be a progress bar in this area that allows you to see when the deliveries will happen. It's as simple as that. So whenever you get done with a finished chapter and you just feel like sending those finished chapters along, you can do it with these two options. And again, they may have an FTP client that they may use. One last thing I like to do as a reminder for myself, knowing that I finished delivering a couple of chapters, if you are delivering them on a daily basis, what I like to do is personally mark them to give myself an indication that I've already taken care of these. So what you can do is either right click on a file and I like to choose these colors down here. And let's say I only had a chance to deliver chapter one. A highlighting tag will be present on this file. So if I was to come back another day and I wanted to open up this folder and I couldn't remember where I left off in delivering my files to that author or that publisher, I can simply click into my chapters file folder and then see that, oh yes, I did in fact deliver chapter one. I still need to deliver chapter two and so on, depending on how many chapters you may have. So there is your how to in delivering finished files for an author or a publisher. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And don't forget, I want you to pick up my free narration EQ guide. It'll help guide you into the right path for using EQ on your voice for the books that you narrate. Just go to thehomeaudioproject.com 
slash EQ and download it today. I hope you've enjoyed this five day look into the GarageBand narration. If so, leave me a comment and let me know which day was your favorite and which video helped you out the most. Now I'm here for you. I want you to win in your narration career. And I want to keep giving you tips in editing, mastering, and anything from the audio engineer standpoint. Have a great day. I'll see you in another video real soon.